Damn. You know how I like my milkshakes. Extra thick. What's up, everyone? Thank you for joining us once again on the D-Star Zero One channel. I'm your host, Dexter Raffalis, and today we'll be looking at the SA Trigger Arts Majin Buu. Good, as it says on the box, it just says good. <laughs> it should say good version, but this is Majin Buu Good Exclusive Edition. I got this at Comic-Con SDCC 2022, and he was pretty tough to get. But I have some thoughts on this figure, and we're going to go into it in paint and detail, articulation and scale, and accessories. But before we do that, let's get some formalities out of the way. If you are looking to pick up some awesome action figures, you know where to go. You can go to www.dstartoys.com and get some awesome action figures. But we will not have this. I do not carry exclusive figures, unfortunately. Also, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell so we always to know when we post new videos. Now. Just like all my toy reviews, I'm going to tell you exactly how I feel about this figure. And I'm going to tell you right now, mm, if you do not have a Majin Buu, I do not think the exclusive, um, you know, it is worth it if you don't have one. But if you already have a Majin Buu right here, I don't think the exclusive is worth it. And I, I think one of the main reasons is there's barely a difference. Um, I know I was talking about in Android 16, the way they painted him was much darker, so therefore he looks really different. When it comes to the exclusive Majin Buu, there's very subtle differences, and mostly that's in the vest. They decided to give it a gloss finish rather than a matte finish, and also the boots and the gloves are a different yellow and also gloss finished. Now this is the original Boo right here, as you can see the vest on the original versus the exclusive. You'll notice that the original is matte finished and also the gloves are a much darker yellow. Um, that's, I was hoping for a, some sort of difference in tone maybe, uh, and that, that's really it. And if you don't own a Majin Boo, yeah the exclusive wouldn't be a bad idea to pick up, but if you own the original, it is... This is just my opinion, obviously. Maybe people can tell me different in the comments. I don't think the exclusive is worth it, considering you will most likely be paying a premium on him. You will not be getting this guy at 80 bucks. Uh, you'll probably be getting him at plus 100 bucks or something like that because of scalper prices and the fact that he's exclusive. Um, let me know what you think down in the comments down below with my initial assessment. Is this enough of a difference for you to say, hey, you know what, I'm going to pick up this boo? But for me, it is not. But let's dive deeper. Let's move this guy aside when we look at paint and detail, articulation and scale and accessories. And the first things first, we're going to be looking at paint right here. So like I said before, the difference here is the vest. As you can see, when the light hits it, it has a very glossy, very shiny look to it. And yeah, like, I, I don't mind a gloss finish. In fact, I love gloss finishes, especially on shiny things like guns and silver. Anything silver, um, chrome looks really solid. But when you put it on a vest like this, honestly, I never imagined that. I see Boo, uh, um, good Boo. Uh, on Dragon Ball Z, I never said, oh yeah, he has a glossy vest. No, I, I never thought that even for a little bit. But yeah, they decided to just give that a glossy vest. So last thing here um, is the boots and the hands. They are gloss finished, as you can see right here. Let's look closer at that. The way the light hits it definitely has a nice shine on the gloves. And then when you look at the boots, they also have a gloss finish. Another thing that I kind of notice here, and let's look at the differences here. Um, the cape on the exclusive versus the original. You'll notice that the cape on the exclusive is a lighter purple, purple where the original is a darker purple. But, you know, like I said before, I do prefer a much more matte finish on my action figure. So, therefore, I do prefer the original over the exclusive. But I don't really think the exclusive is that awful. But, 
I, I just honestly feel like, and this is, again, my opinion, they didn't put much thought into this boo. Like, <laughs> I, like, why just make those things gloss? I think, sure, you know what? Let's just go all gloss. Let's make them glossy as heck. Why not? Why just the vest and the gloves and the boots? Like, I would have got gloss pants, belt, and sure, the skin tone. Why not? Just make them glossy. Just do it. <laughs> anyway, that's just my opinion on paint detail. So let's talk about articulation and scale. Let's take out my friend's micrometer here because I don't have my ruler like I usually do back at the studio. So we're going to go at the very tippy top here of this guy. And he's actually quite large. Actually, he's probably going to max out my friend's micrometer here. He is. Yeah, he is totally maxed out my friend's micrometer. So he's going to be definitely eight in oil. Probably like 7.8 inches tall. So right here, he, we max him out at 7.575 inches right here on the micrometer. So yeah, he's a big boy. And then let's see if we compare him to Android 16. So yeah, look at the size difference right here. That is really big. If you haven't seen the original uh, Good Boo, yeah, he's a big figure. Good Boo is a huge figure. And of course, we have to have Super Saiyan 3 Goku right here. Yikes, this is the size difference, wow. And um, Super Saiyan 2 exclusive Goku right here. So as you can see, he is a very large and in charge type figure. But just because he's large doesn't mean he cannot articulate. So let's go into articulation. We have an up and down here at the toe. I have a ball joint here at the ankle, bend at the knee. And he has version two joints right there. Humongous version two joints right there. And you can get side kicks. You can get front kicks. You can get small, tiny flying knees right there. You can get Shoryukens and whatnot. Yeah, you can do a lot with this figure. Except for maybe an ab crunch because he doesn't look like he's doing any ab crunches. So <laughs> it does rotate. Oh, super tight as you can see. Oh, and here, yikes, let's stop that. Don't want to hurt your ears here, guys. But yeah, it, it does rotate. We're just gonna have to move it around just a little bit. It's really tight on the midsection, but like I said before, he's probably not even doing um, crunches. So anyway, we have a beautiful butterfly joint right there. So you can probably get these, um, these fists together like this, pop, 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 just like he does in the anime. We have a bicep swivel right there, double jointed elbow right here. Looking really good. Ball and peg here at the wrist and two at the neck. Looking to be well above. Well, actually, I don't think it's 20. Let's see. One, two, three. Uh, let's see. Does he roll? Yeah, four, five. So there's 10 right here. 11. And then 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Yeah, he's over 20 points of articulation. That's surprising. Oh, yeah, and let's not forget the cape. The cape is articulated. We're going to count these because they are articulated. They are jointed. So, therefore, we can get something that looks like this. I preferred a soft goods um, cape for my action figures. But you know what? This plastic cape isn't a bad idea just because of the fact that you can do something like this. So yeah, I really like the fact that Boo could do that. So let's do some poses. Sure, we have the front kick, we have the side kick. We have him in a somewhat of a fighting pose right here, which looks really cool. Can he do a superhero landing pose? Surprisingly, he can. Look at this, he can even somewhat look at the camera, which gives you a proper superhero landing pose as Mr. Deadpool with the custom Desert Eagles right here. We'll, we'll show you, actually we gotta do it opposite because he has the gun right here. Uh, actually, let's, let's do this again. So let's see a proper superhero landing pose right here with Mr. Deadpool. And he's gonna look at the camera. Okay, not my best, but I'm doing this on the fly. So yeah, he can do it. That's pretty neat. I really like that. I don't think I did that on my last review, which is really cool. So let's talk about accessories. Let's look at the boxes first. Here we go. Right here, we get the shipper box and we get the exclusive box, which is just pink and uh, really cool looking. Here's the back of it right here. And of course he has a chocolate bar and stuff like that, but we're gonna look deeper into that. No top cam, because I don't have a top cam. Because we're not here in the studio, I'm in my friend's apartment here in San Diego. Let's move this aside, this this uh, plastic clamshell right here. 
was for um, the cape, but we already removed the cape. And you do get the gloves. You get four extra gloves or four extra hands, and they are also gloss finished. Of course, you get the chocolate bar, which is really cool right here. Um, so he turns you into candy. And we get two extra faces. We get the tongue sticking out face and the <laughs> face right here. And we're going to put the <laughs> face on there. Um, and let's do this real quick. Let's remove the head. Real easy, by the way. And bada bing, bada boom. Should go on. Hold on one second. Let's pop that on. Don't want to. <laughs> Got to really leverage it. I remember I had issues with this also on the original. You have to really push down on it. So there he is. There's that face, the he 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 face. We already got that. And um, we have the, oh, let's see this face right here. The tongue sticking out face. You know what I just realized? You don't get this face. Huh. So it's been a while since I opened the original. I kind of just posed this boo. This is the original head that I got. Oh yeah, and you also don't get, I believe he even comes with a, a, a beam effect. So it looks like you're transforming him into a candy bar. Yeah, you don't even get that with the exclusive. So they're actually taking out some stuff. Yikes, don't like that. So let's put the, this original head right here. Let's see if he, I can pop it on real quick. So yeah, it does pop on. So there you go. If you do have the original head, you can put it on. So, wow, that's unfortunate. I totally didn't realize that. Wow, wow, wow. That actually takes it down another point. You don't get the, the effect. You don't get the, the extra head. That That's uh, <laughs> taking out stuff. Um, so yeah, let's, let's come up with a conclusion of the exclusive boo. Now let's talk about this figure. Oh, I, I, they took out accessories. They just gave him a gloss finish. Maybe changed the purple up on the cape and that's it. Um, usually when the tone, when I say tone, I don't mean color tone. I mean the feel of the figure just doesn't really change. Um, and, and I have the original and I bought this. And obviously I got to get them all because I, I review these for you guys. And also I just love collecting Dragon Ball figures. Because back in the day, we didn't have Dragon Ball Z figures, especially of this quality. Um, it, it's a tough set. It's a tough for me to, to tell you to get this because I actually prefer the original over the exclusive. But if you can get the exclusive for a decent price, then by all means, get it. Especially if you don't own a Boo. I love the Boo figure. It's actually a really good figure. So, yeah, I honestly feel... in that Bandai got a little bit lazy on their exclusives this year. Uh, well, maybe just in this guy. I honestly thought Android 16 would just be a, a very simple repaint, but no, he looks much different than the original. But when it comes to this guy, not so much. But anyway, those are my opinions. Let me know what you think down in the comments down below. And last but not least, let's end this video by saying... Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you always know when I post new videos. And last but not least, you can go to www.dootstarfighters.com and I'll be the awesome next video. And I will see you guys next time. Peace out. So, rate, comment, and subscribe right here, right there, right here. Yeah.